chop up in the fourth. Stevie Harrington in fifth spot. And Grant Monday in the sixth. Now that spot for Monday over uh, Faulkner will give him third in the championship if they finish the way that they're currently running. Bradley Jones now withholding the challenge from Terry Wyhern. This is Wyhern's only chance. Yes. Now he's got to put the pressure right on Bradley. It's not enough just to pass him because Brad's got to finish in fourth position or less if Wyhern wins for Wyhern to take the series. So really what Wyhern's got to do is try and force Jones into error. Yeah. Yes, it's not enough to win. I wonder if he'd be better served to sit there and try and force Bradley into error, although everybody in the country's tried to put pressure on him at times. Uh, including myself and he's not an easy man to fluster is he? oh you can get him looking in the mirror you just got to <laughs> work hard at it <laughs> and all it takes of course is to look in that mirror at the wrong time all of a sudden he's too deep into the corner the thing gets loose a spin occurs and it's terry wyhoon's championship yes and uh, bradley's starting to run a high line uh, i don't think that's by choice i think uh, maybe he's starting to get a little grip but wyhoon's still able to get down the bottom of the track 12 laps to go. John Faulkner moves into 7th position. Grant Monday is in 6th position. The two of them locked on uh, uh, in 3rd position on exactly the same amount of points. That's the race for the lead. The Wyhoons uh, said that normally their car couldn't keep tyres on them for more than uh, 40 laps today. They said that last night, though, they went out, they did something like uh, 60 laps in a row. And they said they pulled the tyres off the car and they were almost brand new because of the night conditions. Maybe their setup that they've always had has been great for night racing. John Faulkner is now up in a sixth position. Grant Monday is back to seventh. That gives Faulkner at least third place in the 1993-94 Goodyear Oscar Championship. Well, Faulkner is not done with yet. He's charging. Here he comes now under the inside of Steve Harrington. Ten laps remaining. So that's 100 laps down. Nathan Pretty doing a great job as well. He's in fourth spot. Pretty, of course, the young protege of Bradley Jones and running an ex-Bradley Jones car. Also from the Aubrey Wodonga area on the uh, New South Wales Victorian border. Wonder if Steve Harrington's car is uh, going off a little bit. You saw him drop back dramatically when uh, Faulkner passed him. Look at why who? all over the back of Bradley Jones. Look at this. And Wyhoon has just made the decision that the only thing he can do is harry and harass Brad Jones until Jones makes the error. He's going low line. Brad's still on the high line. Oh, boy, Wayne Jones there on that low line. Wyhoon had to take quick action. And Faulkner's not out of this as far as this motor race is concerned. His fresh green tyres are working. There's not many laps to go, but the way he's coming through the field, he'll definitely feature. He's, he's got past Pretty. He's up into a fourth spot now. Half a second a lap is being gained by John Faulkner. 3.3 seconds is the gap. Now back to John Faulkner. It was 3.8, only one lap ago. That's an amazing pace. This uh, many laps into a race meeting. Eight laps to go. Good year, Oscar Series for 93, 94. What a grand final. Talk about one hot night under lights at the Thunderdome. This is it so far. Brad Jones going up high. Lap traffic in front. Jones has got to go really high. Well, Hoon got a bit of a check there, I think, and Faulkner's still on that charge, but I, um, I'm a bit worried, John. I'm using up a lot of adrenaline here with a race <laughs> like this, and I'm going to go in and get in the NASCAR. Yeah, 120 left of that, Alan. Give you some Valium before you go, I think. <laughs> OK, Faulkner now down to 2.8 seconds the gap. Back to Bradley Jones, from Bradley Jones back to John Faulkner. And each lap, consistently, Faulkner has pegged Jones back. Not one lap has he failed to do so. That's John Faulkner on the screen now. Currently lying in fourth position. Marshall Brewer is in third. Terry Wyhoon in second. And, of course, Bradley Jones in the lead. Top nine cars are on the lead lap. Six to go, or five and a half laps to go. Up the back straight. There's Faulkner. He's not too far off the tail of well, Marshall, Marshall Brewer. Brewer. Yeah, Brewer being lined up now for the big pass. Here it comes. And with Lee Watkins just out in front with the Falcon. Five laps remaining now. This is going to make it interesting. There is a bit of slower traffic coming up. Brewer's going to go high. Just uh, trying to get it to switch it. 
dream of Watkins and then pull out down the back straight. Here comes Wyhern on Jones. Wyhern down the inside of Jones. Faulkner goes through Brewer. There goes oh. Wyhern into the lead. Whoa. Well, and with four to go, and, and Bradley's not having enough of that, he's going to come back and slip streaming down the front straight. Here he comes and he's down pulled the slip inside. on him as well. Go, Jones. Go, Wyhern. Look at this, side by side. Jones back oh. into the lead. This has just been sensational racing the Petters Oscar 200. Faulkner 2.2 seconds behind. Don't reckon he can do it with only four laps remaining. This is the race for the lead. That's Faulkner lurking back there. Too far to go. We're looking three laps to go now as they flash past the start finish line. I think we're looking for the closest ever finish. This you is going to be amazing. See that puff of smoke again, again from the back of Bradley Jones's car. There is definitely a problem with the back of Brad, oh, oh, Brad Jones's vehicle. Yeah, I think it might it might be a slight touch on the bodywork, but it doesn't appear to be mechanical. Maybe it's just a slight rub as he goes into the corner. But boy, all the stops around. Look at Wyhern running at him through the corner again. He's going for a slip down the front straight, but he's not quite close enough to pick it up. And guess who's lurking? There's two laps remaining. John Faulkner's got up in the third position. This is going to be a beauty. Bradley Jones's car jumping around there. Here's Faulkner, the Fisher and Pinekel car. There's Brewer. There's also Puff of Smoke again. Nathan Pretty, Grant Monday doing a great job. The race is on for the flag. Well, absolute ripper. John Faulkner currently in third position. We're coming around. The white flag is waving. Bradley Jones currently first. Terry Wyhoon right on his bumper in second spot. The championship lap. Jones is going to do it. Jones is going to win his fifth consecutive Oscar championship. But Terry Wyhoon is also a champion. He has done a sensational job this season long. And he's done a sensational and very creditable job in this race tonight. Yeah, I think it's the championship experience, the grand final experience as Wyhoon has a lot ditch run at him through the last corner a of the nice race. Desperate lunge from Wyhern down to the checkered flag. Bradley Jones holds it by what? By 0.24 of a second. Oh, and Brewer got past Faulkner. Faulkner broke at the finish, and Brewer took third spot off him. He did indeed. Marshall oh. Brewer up into third position. John Faulkner just pipped by 0.4 of a second taken back to fourth place so Alan, those guys have got to be proud of themselves so what a fantastic race bradley yes, jones acknowledges the cheers of this monstrous crowd here at calder thunderdome and bradley jones will be absolutely elated five times oscar champion yeah that was a very well executed planned tactical win and not without speed i mean he went for it he led it let it i don't know how many times during the race and when the the, the championship rounds came round, he was the one up front fighting i think it's a great win i think it's a very very deserved win he won it with pace <laughs> here we go the burnout from bradley <laughs> and do the crowd here love it i said he wouldn't even care if it fifth the wall the cooper tools Atlantis removals holding Commodore the winner by one point a uh, point one six of a second. <laughs> hey, well, Bradley has won. He's a bit of a loud. He's a bit is, of a loud, Bradley. Bradley, I'd like to see him do that in the Lotus in production car racing, which he's also driving at the moment. Well, I'm going to go and have a couple of Valiums because I've got uh, a little job of work to do. I, I don't know how much adrenaline I used up. That's the main problem. But uh, a bit of Valium, a bit of a cup of tea, and I lie down, and uh, I'll be waving at you, John, next time. Gricey, good luck. We hope to see you after 120 laps and not before well i'm only starting second last on the grid i guess somebody must have been in more trouble than us or had a bigger <laughs> fire than we did during qualifying bradley jones has won 18 oscar races in his career bradley jones is the most successful oscar racer in australia i hate to say it but i reckon after five oh here he goes again <laughs> after five oscar championship wins it's got to be time bradley to concentrate on NASCAR racing next year and let someone else have a crack at the crown. Yeah, I think it is time, but what a great way to finish a career in Oscar racing if it is the last one. That is just sensational.
Bradley led four times during that race for 40 laps. And there's only one time that you really need to be leading, and that's at the finish line for the checkered flag. It's taken Brad a while to get, it, to get back to the pits. Have you actually noticed that? <laughs> but the crowd's loving it. Aren't we all? Now, there is a young man in the Sportsman Series who is going to negotiate the purchase of that motor car. I wonder if he wants to buy it now in as-run condition. <laughs> Let's go down. Ian Campbell on pit row. Oh, Bradley Jones in the car. Helmet off, Brad. Congratulations. Undisputably, the grand champ of Oscar Racing. Well done. But let me tell you, we saw a puff of smoke out the car with 10 to go. Did you have a problem? Not really. You know, I um, the car was starting to push really bad, and I was sort of watching where John was and, and then where Terry was. And, you know, all I didn't even look at the gauges for the last five laps because I don't think that would have stopped me. You know, it's great. This is probably the last time I race an Oscar car seriously. And um, it's good to go out with, a, a, you know, a finish for all the guys and Cooper Tools and Atlantis Removals and everyone that's helped us get here because it's been a tough, tough season. How different was it under the lights? Well, it was, you know, when the adrenaline's pumping, it's really not that much different. You know, you can see everything that's going on in the car and it just keeps the car a bit cooler and keeps the times up there so my brother worked hard on the car and it worked perfectly we were quite confident we could outrun john with uh, with the old tires towards the end and that's what we did i think your dad's down there still jumping for joy <laughs> yeah that's good considering he's paralyzed <laughs> <laughs> absolutely great who the yard stick is now set five consecutive oscar titles this man said it what's going to be for next year Brad, Bradley's dad, we must say, just to clarify that, is uh, is one of the real characters of the sport. He's been uh, he's been in a wheelchair most uh, most of his adult life, uh, but he's been also the greatest help that a young man like Brad Jones could ever have. And uh, they're all heroes in their hometown of Albury, Wodonga. And uh, for Brad Jones and his dad, this has been a real crowning glory tonight. There's his brother Kim Jones also on screen there, shaking his hand. Quite pretty happy camper and uh, really should be proud of his achievements. Just magnificent. And here's how they finished in the Goodyear Championship, the Oscar Series. Brad Jones won the event, as you can see by the narrowest of margins, from Terry Wyhoon, then Marshall Brewer, John Faulkner and Nathan Pretty. Brad Jones' uh, uh, protege and probably his successor getting up into the top five. We'll be back at Calder Park Thunderdome for HQ Racing and NASCAR Racing after this.